I am back today with something I've wanted to add to the collection for a very long time, a representation of the M16A1. This is the semi-auto only civilian legal version from Harrington and Richardson produced by Palmetto State Armory. PSA is an industry giant. They've leveraged their buying power here recently and are producing some insane lineups of a wide variety of rifles. Everything from their modern day Sabre, which is one of the best rifles you can get for under $1,000, to their classic retro rifles that you see here. The Harrington and Richard lineup also has a lot of these 20 inch versions of the classic looking M16s, as well as the carbine versions with a 14.7 pins and welded barrel and just like true PSA fashion they have complete lower assemblies and upper assemblies independent on their site allowing you to mix and match and put together whatever you like now a lot of times when you're looking at true collectible rifles in this configuration you're looking at well over two thousand dollars unless you kind of piecemeal it together over time these ones come from the factory as low as $1,200 depending on the configuration and even less for some of the carbine versions. They also have a few different variations where you can mix and match lowers and upper assemblies and get them sub $1,000. Again, if you find the blemish versions of the rifles. They also offer blemish versions of the complete rifles to save yourself some money that way. And I'm really excited to get this one out to the channel. PSA sent this one at my request, but I got a chance to shoot a few other variations at the range day they hosted down in South Carolina and fell in love with the platform. It was super smooth shooting and a very accurate representation of the M16A1 and the similar carbine variants. The cool thing about this is it's also a functional rifle down at the range and it's a joy to shoot and we'll talk about that in the performance section of this review. So the model we're looking at is my first choice because it is such a classic design, yet it really is super fun down at the range. So let's start from the front and work our way to the back and talk about the specs, features, and performance of this rifle. But before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring ammo to help make this video. They sent out some two Two, three, and this works great in a wide variety of platforms and is very accurate. They also have the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200. Definitely check these guys out. Starting at the front, we are working with our birdcage flash hider on that thinner pencil barrel. It has that fixed front sight post, and this is where it starts to get interesting. A lot of the versions have the triangular handguard. There's also different versions and iterations and clone builds of a wide variety of ARs and M16s with different handguards. Again, all of that information will be on my campsite page. My campsite page is an aggregate site of where I find the best info. Also, if you follow me on my Instagram page or my Patreon page, you'll get notified of a lot of daily deals and specials that they may be having. So follow me on those platforms and definitely check out that campsite page for information on these particular setups. Moving right along, the upper assembly does come with this dust cover, an interesting shell deflector, again, a representation of the classic rifle, and the carry handle actually forged into the upper assembly. It works out great, and the sights are absolutely a classic sighting design. This is great to take out to the range and just enjoy plinking with iron sights. If you've never done that, it's definitely a joy, and it really just kind of slows the shooting experience down. Not to say iron sights are slow, but it does allow you to just sit back, relax, and enjoy plinking. The upper assembly does have this forward assist with the extended lever, again, harkening back to that classic design. Now, it is a classic design, but it is using quality components like the 4150 chromoly vanadium steel barrel and the traditional half by 28 threads. The twist rate of the barrel is 1 in 12, and it's a rifle length gas system. The materials used in the receiver are going to be for the Forged 7075 T6 aluminum, and then the upper receiver is going to be that M16A1 without the feed ramps. The bolt material is going to be the Carpenter 158, and then it's also going to have an overall length of about 30 inches with that stock. So it's a pretty interesting and slick setup, again, with 
modern day features. The trigger on this is a basic mil spec trigger that you can expect from PSA. One of the PSA grips specifically designed for this setup, as well as the stock with the sling attachments. One of the first things I'm going to be doing is really putting a sling on this thing and then calling it quits because this is just a beautiful, classic looking rifle. Now, functionally, down at the range, it was very smooth shooting, and it ran 100% functional with all of the Callaway Ballistics ammo I put through it. I didn't really run steel case. That wasn't what this was about, but the ejection pattern was very consistent, and it ran and fed perfectly, no issues whatsoever, and that's indicative of a quality rifle from Palmetto State Armory. The trigger, the charging handle, the forward assist, everything worked as it should with absolutely no issues when it comes to function. This was a tack driver down at the range and was making standing shots at 100 yards on a 6 inch plate with ease with this very long sight radius and those iron sights are just a joy to shoot. Well, that might have been an 8 inch plate. Don't, don't quote me on that 6 inch plate, but needless to say, this was plenty accurate at a distance with those iron sights. In summary, if you were looking for a classic rifle that you could actually take out to the range and put thousands of rounds through, you'll definitely want to take a look at the Harrington and Richardson lineup of full M16A1s and carbines, and I should be buying more and actually requesting more if they'll send me any different versions of this setup. I'm hooked. I'm absolutely hooked, and I think you will be too. You can check out a lot of my YouTube shorts and my Instagram page for different videos on this. It's going to be constantly going to the range because I've just fallen in love with this platform. This is also great because there's a lot of places like the CRPC in Charlotte that do military surplus rifle matches where you utilize iron sights only. Having a classic design like this is really going to draw attention to you down at the range, and it's definitely practical for those types of competitions. Again, all of the information will be in the description below and on my campsite page, and don't forget those other platforms to follow me on. Also, a huge shout out to PSA for sending this out and letting us shoot a ton of variations at range day. If you want to see those videos, they're all on my YouTube Shorts tab. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.